like I swallowed a horny toad backwards. Ooh, that must hurt. We're in what? The old west now, people. Huh? Look tough. Look like cowboy. We got the appearances to keep up. Now. This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail, so I can wring his neck. Ooh-wee, you are feisty. You remind me of this one little gal who... So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. Miss Carmelita, you didn't forget how to use that pistol, did you? Not a chance. I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. And I can press and get back, Carmelita! TNT! You better rush before we get lost through the ring! Carmelita? How about less sweet talk and more action? <laughs> Tennessee, it looks like you'll have to go on ahead. I'll find another way there.
This is almost as fun as a sack of gold nuggets! Some dopes are still looking for a fight. Sleep. Sometimes these boys do get a mite irritating. Shucks, these galoots are not smart.
I'll stay here and cover you. should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Why, well, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good lion, oh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right up his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? The flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. 